Rats, the bane of many a creature within the Norvinsk region. Ranging from the bullet wastes that are hatchlings to the infuriating exit camper, there are many different specimens. Yet some deviate from these much more orthodox tactics. The cause for these stratagems ranges from cowardice to downright sadistic pleasure. To begin this foray into the rat specimens, we have three somewhat normal creatures, the first of which being the hibernators. These specimens choose to remain in an isolated corner of the map, venturing out within the final few minutes of each raid. This is done in hopes of avoiding other rats in prowling chads. Often they only must face the competition of scabs, but their far greater gear gives them a distinct advantage in these engagements. As most loot has already been picked over, the hibernator rarely runs into anything particularly valuable. However, an airdrop is the holy grail for these specimens, and their gear and disregard for scav life makes it far easier to swipe. The Ensure is a simple rat, and one willing to sacrifice friendships for those sweet rubles. They are always found within packs, and they may be equipped with any form of gear. When their allies live, they behave as a normal PMC. Yet once a member of their pack has been killed, the rat brain immediately triggers. Ganking loot from this point on is incredibly simple, and relies on one simple thing. Deception. They promise to ensure their ally's gear, and may even stream the ditching of loot to gain trust. Shortly after, however, they will end their streams, coining some reason for doing so, and retrieve the previously hidden gear. Appreciate it. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop streaming for a performance. Yeah, no problem. Alright. I'm gonna extract. Okay. The leader is similar to the insurer, however, they are more commonly found among player scabs and rats. Additionally, they actively try to lure the members of the pack into danger, either looting their gear or using their bodies as bait. Yes. Sinister and callous, these specimens profit off the suffering of their friends. The fisher rats are similar to camping gremlins, however there is one massive difference. Whilst gremlins camp near high loot and high traffic zones, fisher rats create their own loot areas through the usage of bait bags. Often by shooting loud weaponry or tossing grenades, they are able to lure unsuspecting creatures near their position. Then, it is simply a waiting game, counting on the greed that plagues all the creatures of the region. The genius of the stratagem is that each kill adds a body, additional bait for other creatures.
Despite this, some individuals see through the lure and escape the fisher rat's clutches. Even so, these situations are few and far between, and the patient fisher will wait however long he must for the next catch. The pack rats are an abnormality among the rat species. This is because the larger group results in less loot for the individual, and a general lack of trust goes a long way in preventing established packs from forming. However, once a pack has formed, it can be incredibly deadly. When they choose to camp, it is nearly impossible for any organism to escape the firing squad that these rats create. Through the power of teamwork, they are able to weasel their way into the most ridiculous hidey holes imaginable. When spotted, their sheer numbers and coordination can overwhelm small groups of PMCs and even chads. The Vermintide does not succeed without loss, but the low value of their weaponry and the potential payout make this sacrifice worthwhile. When working together, they are a near unstoppable force. Despite this, the incredible avarice of rats results in some rather ghastly behaviors. One rat stepping out of line may immediately be killed, and the subsequent squabbling over gear may lead to the undoing of the entire pack. Brought to our attention by field researcher Bien Baku, the mannequins are intriguing to the scientific community. Most rats prioritize the acquisition of rubles above all else. However, the mannequin rats seem to hunt this way solely for the thrill of it. The characteristic of hunting for the thrill is often indicative of the chad specimens, drawing into question what makes an individual a rat or a chad. Either way, these creatures disguise themselves by employing the PCUI insight and tack life terrain for mutations. To complete the disguise, they cover their faces with Misha Mayorov masks and wear low-profile chest rigs. 
Within these rigs, they hold their weaponry, most often SMGs and pistols. They take up positions in dimly lit, mannequin-filled stores and wait for any creature to stumble by. They coordinate their attacks to ensure that they all pounce at once. Their prey often has no time to react before it is viciously mauled to death. More tentative creatures may notice the subtle movements from the rat's breathing. However, they often take time to realize what lies in front of them, and after killing one, the rest may easily overwhelm them. Unlike PMCs, Artificialis and Telehentus scavs are not deceived, and as such, these creatures are rarely present near AI scav hunting grounds. When away from these areas, the creatures of Tarkov must remain ever vigilant lest they suffer an incredible rat attack. The rats of Tarkov are an ever-growing scientific mystery. On the surface, they seem relatively straightforward, yet a deep dive into the many variants raises more than a few eyebrows. The mannequin specimens, much like the cursed weapon creatures, require far more investigation before they are well and truly understood. Yet when that puzzle is finally pieced together, many more will spring up as is so incredibly common when researching the ever more baffling lands of Tarkov.